just um, your reaction on a, another phenomenal manager in the Premier League? Yeah, it's a huge, yeah, he's a huge manager in world football, really, what he's achieved in the game. Um, so to come to the Premier League, I'm sure he'll uh, make his mark on the, on the Spurs squad and, um, yeah, make them compete at the, at the highest level and he'll be trying to, to go in there and, and, and do that straight away. So um, I'm sure he'll have a big impact. Um, and like you said, it's another big manager in the Premier League. Jordan, just on the on the game now against the Atleti, I, was, I spoke to Jurgen about twenty minutes ago, just saying the last game was fantastic for people like me to watch. I don't know quite what it was like out there, but what is the challenge of playing a side like uh, Diego Simeone side? Uh, intense probably isn't quite the best word to describe it. What's it actually like to play against Simeone and his Atleti sides? We broke up a little bit, but I think I've got the majority of the question. Yeah, it's always going to be it's always going to be tough against Atletico, even though they're a fantastic side. Um, as we found out last game, really, um, yeah, quality players uh, um, were extremely hard to get as a team defensively, good on the counter attack, um, and yeah, Diego Simeone is a world class manager, and he'll have them set up in a in a way which you think can, that can hurt us, but. It's down to us to make sure that we perform on the night, and if we do that, then hopefully we can get another good result as we did in um, in Madrid a few weeks ago. Okay, we'll go to Carl from the BBC, please. Next, hi Jordan. Hi man. Um, looking at how well you've done, you've started this season, and the frustrations of the last campaign, has that made the squad more determined not to let that happen again? Um, yeah, listen, we just we started the season well. Could it could it be better? Yeah, I think it can be better. Um, could have been a bit worse as well. But yeah, I think it's a decent start of the season overall. If you look over all of the games and all of the competitions, um, there's still things that we want to improve on. But that's that's always the case. Um, and hopefully we can yeah keep progressing, keep learning, keep improving as the season goes on. Again. Okay, we'll go to James from Talksport next, please. Jordan, how much of a boost do you think it would be to progress from this group with two matches to spare? And what sort of an achievement would that be when you consider the sides in this group? Yeah, it would be a big achievement. You know, it's, it's a tough group with tough teams in it. Um, and so far, we've, we've done really well in them games. So it's another tough test tomorrow night. Um, it'll be a, a difficult game. But one that we know that if we get a good result, we can... Um, we can qualify, like you said, with two games to go, which is which would be a big bonus. But ultimately, um, we're just focusing on the game and, and what we can do performance-wise in terms of um, getting getting that result that we need. Okay, Carl, do you want to go next, please? Hi, Jordan. You've um, you've played with Luis Suarez. You've played against him. I just wondered what what the challenges are when you come up against a, a player like like him. Um. <laughs> A lot of challenges. Um, I think we all know he's a top player for a long time. Um, produced so many good moments at Liverpool, um, and yeah, I learned a lot from him while while he was here. You know, I'm um, quite close to him. I speak to him now and again. But yeah, he's a um, world class player, and he causes a lot of problems um, for defenses. He's, he's always in and around the goal, and if he gets a chance and I'm sure we'll take it. Um, so we've got to be on our um, on our guard with him. Not only him, you know, we've got world class players all over, but certainly Louis is a top striker and will cause any team problems. Okay, we've got time for two more. So we'll start with Dave Maddock, please. Uh, <clears throat> Jordan, uh, you say you're close to Lewis and, and you speak to him. I mean, do you speak English to him for a start? Because he never spoke much English when he was here. Um, and how often do you speak to him? Um, uh, you know, how close? How close are you? Not not that often, to be honest. But now and again, um, just to see how he's doing, how his family's doing, and things like that. But yeah, not not all the time. And I, I was just wondering, you know, you say what you learned from him because I mean, obviously he had. Um, an emotional side, but he also was maybe one of the great sort of competitors and 
so I was just wondering what, what you know what you took from him and his personality. A lot, you know, I, I think he helped us a lot um, when he was at Liverpool. Mentality side of it, you know, how he was in training. He always wanted to win. Um, yeah, he, he played through the things that he played through in terms of pain barriers and things like that. You know, he just wanted to get out, play football, and and try and do his best for the team. Um, and yeah, like I said, I took a lot from him when he was here. I think he helped me massively. Um, made me grow in confidence as a player and I had a good relationship off the pitch but also on the pitch as well. Okay, and final question for today was to go to Chris, please. Sorry, Jordan, to turn into the Suarez show here, but uh, Adam Alana got a fantastic reception on, on Saturday. Would you think maybe the time's come for Lewis to get white? Why it was different circumstances when he was here last time. Could you imagine the crowd would show their appreciation for what he did while he was here? Yeah, I, th I think so. Um, I think when he was here, you know, he was phenomenal, you know, for a number, for a number of years. He was outstanding. Um, and I think the fans, or that, you know, I think the fans will appreciate that and what he did at this football club. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't think Louis would be too bothered about, yeah, of course, after the game, it would be nice. Maybe not during the game, but after the game, it would be nice um, for him to get a, a nice reception from the crowd.